Ladies and gentlemen, I just did a video talking about cash and credit. Now that video I haven't put up yet. I'm putting it up now as I do this video. By the time you watch this, both videos will be up. Okay, got that? Good. Now, the they loaned you cash, not credit. See, right here. This one right here. They loaned you cash, not credit. So demand funding. We're going to put the links for the GPT here. So one second. Now, Google doesn't like links. They say, I can't use links. Okay, they won't let me do links. They they angry. They they mad at me. And they idiots, but that's okay. So you see that long link? I can't put that there. So I got to undo that. What do I have to do? I have to go and visit the, the, the postman. Wait a minute, Mr. Postman. Anyway. Uh-oh. It says, you, you uh-oh, what do I got to do? Cars? Uno? So, for that? Cuatro? Cinco. There was a car there, just the roof of a car, but it was still a car. Sometimes it gets me for that. This is Google. All right. Cha-ching! There is the link. Now, hold on now. Make sure you guys know. See this right here at the end? We got to get rid of that. Yeah, that's where we put that. Okay? That's your Google. Okay. Now, after that, hold on now. Long title. Well, well we got we to gotta do this. Two, 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 two. Okay, see that right there? Now we're going to do the second one. What's the second one? Perplexity. Then we're going to do some explaining. Lucy, Lucy, you got some explaining to do. All right, y'all hold on for a second. Ladies and gentlemen, after I put this in here and I paste it, then I'll be able to focus. Can't focus right now, but I wanted y'all to see what I have to go through just to do a video for y'all. Make sure y'all get access to the information. Now, as I said in that video, the video that you're watching right now, nobody else has done this before me. You see how it says it's too long? We can get rid of the so. We're going to put a comma. Demand proof of funding. Then we're going to back this on up. Okay? And then we're going to back this one on up. There you go. 100. All right? And then we're going to take these two, which is the same thing. We're going to copy. We're going to put these here. Now you got both links, okay? Then we're going to take this because we don't need this here. There you go, your two links, perplexity and uh, chat GPT. You follow? Matter of fact, let's do this differently. We're going to do that, okay? We're going to separate them with a bracket, okay? That's how we're going to separate those two. Then we're going to come here. Nigga asks, what, what, what you want to do? I don't know what you want to do, but they ask me what I want to do, and I say, I don't know. And they say, well, you better figure it out, and I ain't figuring out nothing is what I say. All right. Now, let's minimize this so we can talk. Can we talk for a minute? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know my own name. I call your name when I... Anyway, ladies and gentlemen... Let's talk for a second, if you don't mind. Mickey Howard! Sorry. She said, just call her name. Ladies and gentlemen, so that some of you know, the reason why this information is so pivotal, so important, so absolutely necessary, is most of you have demanded proof of an outstanding debt, and they don't send you proof. You demanded a full accounting, and they send you this thing called a statement of account that's not signed, Nobody is attesting to the information. Well, there are two reasons why they don't do it. One of them is the loan has been transferred from one company to the next. No company is going to vouch for someone else's accounting. You'll never get that. So that's why you have to do the interrogatories and demand the accounting because interrogatories have to be responded to under oath. Now, if they fail to provide that information to you upon request and you did it in an interrogatory, go after their insurance. I have somebody who said they were arrested, they put a lien on a police officer, and after they put a lien on a police officer and got arrested, whew, one of them ended up in jail. Went through a trial and they did everything to them. Ladies and gentlemen, we did a document for you guys to go after their bond. Don't go after the officer himself. They, they're going to claim he got immunity and they're going to bring that stupid law from 1996 in and you don't know how to challenge that law as being unconstitutional. Okay? Violating your right to petition for redress. Of course you can put a lien on an officer but put it on his bond. 
you'll do more damage putting a lien on an officer's bond than you can on anything else. That's why you sue the bond. Do you need to get the information for the bond? No, you don't have to get the information. You list the bond as John Doe 1, and you list the bonding agency as John Doe 2, the company that issued the bond. And then you send it to the officer, or you send it to the sheriff's department, the lawsuit. Notice the agent, notice the principal. That's all, that's all you're relying on. Now let's get back to this interrogatory thing. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason why supplying interrogatories in a pre-lawsuit, I didn't even check at first when I first came up with the idea. But a notice of pending lawsuit and doing interrogatories in a notice of pending lawsuit, there is no law against it <laughs> because it's a procedural thing. Of course you can do interrogatories in a notice of pending lawsuit. Hey, I'm getting ready to sue you. Which means if they don't provide it, that information gets used against them, and they don't get to recover from that. They don't get to come up with an excuse. Oh, no, that was a notice. So they received notice. No, I'm not issuing it again, Your Honor. They had the opportunity. I gave them due process, and the law says that I was required to give them due process. They received due process. Supreme Court says that all I have to do is extend to them due process. So, no, I am not going to let you sit up here and ignore my rights. They had an opportunity. He's a student of law. They received it. He refused to abide by the law. So now they have to suffer the consequences because he is required to know the law. He knows what the requirements are for interrogatory. doesn't matter if he's never seen anything like that before. I don't care what he's never seen before. We care about the law. Just that simple. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason why this, these interrogatories that you're going to redo, you're going to rewrite it, but you're not going to add all that junk. You know how y'all like to add all those junk because y'all think y'all smarter than me? Y'all yeah, know, y'all, you, the ignorant people know who I'm talking about. Okay, you're not going to add all of that junk. You don't need to add all of that junk. You add all of that junk and now you just mess things up for yourself because you just created presumptions for them to create presumptions. So keep that junk out of my paperwork. Do your own paperwork. With your own ideas, but don't use my idea. Don't sit up here and mess everything up for everybody else adding in all that junk. I don't know what the... Whoo, whoo, stop. Ladies and gentlemen, it really is this simple. They have been coming up with all kind of ways to stop you from checking them. So we just told you about the promissory note. The promissory note was the funding for the loan. We can prove it. Federal Reserve Act, Section 16. Paragraphs 2 and 4. We can prove that the promissory note is what funded the loan. When they gave it to the Federal Reserve, the Federal Reserve took it, converted it. What did they convert it into? They converted it into a security. And then they gave it to the Treasury, who converted that security into what's known as a Treasury bond. Or a T-bill. Everybody did what they were supposed to do. Because you allowed them to do that, you don't have any more debt. That debt is dissolved because you tendered payment. The promissory note is collateral and security for the loan. It is the tender. It is the payment. Pay attention. So you tendered payment. So ask that as one of your interrogatories. Or everything I just said, put it as a question in your interrogatory. I'm trying to help you. Some of you are going to pay attention and you're going to do what I just said. Some of you are running companies and you're trying to do this debt stuff. Well, I promise you, I just gave you everything to get your company going and to get some act right. But here's the thing. Nobody's going to give me credit for this. I don't want your credit. I didn't do this for credit. I did this because the God that I serve allows me to understand this stuff, to be able to do this stuff the way I do. Okay? Hey, I got to go because I'm full of this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Y'all take care. Arriva Madurchi.